My mom is saying that I'm going to ruin my marriage if I didn't stop my husband from having an affair. For me, if he ends up having an affair there's nothing worth saving. I don't know if I want advice or just vent or just ask opinions about infidelity. I have very strong opinion that if my significant other wants to cheat, I won't stop them. If they need to be stopped, they're not worth my love. I deeply believe I deserve someone who 100% willingly wants to be with me and wouldn't fall for temptation. Let's say it falls under my responsibility to try and stop them if I knew they're going to cheat but what about if I didn't know? I'm married. We have been together for four years and married for six months. We just moved to a new apartment and little by little we have been renovating it. We're both crafty and we want to create our dream home. We became friends with our neighbors. Also a couple. The woman is very beautiful and bubbly and I got along very well with her. She said she envied us renovating since her husband doesn't really like these things and refuses to give her money to start her own projects. She's A-S-A-H-M. I don't know about her situation with her husband but the closer we got to them the more I sense that he's very careful with money. So I get what she means although I don't think he is financially abusive, both my husband and I work. My husband works a lot from home. I have noticed that my neighbor is getting more and more friends with my husband, instead of how it started as a friendship with me. She is very flirty and she seems to have more and more in common with my husband, especially the things I don't really like, like hiking but even the smallest things like food or sweets. She has so much in common with him as she many times put it. Since she's A-S-A-H-M, she started making my husband his favorite food and my husband has said on many occasions how nice it is that she cooks etc. Now twice I came home and she's in there with my husband. Helping him with the renovations or has just brought him lunch. My husband doesn't seem bothered at all so it makes me think nothing is happening between them yet. I was telling this to my mom and she got so angry at my indifference. She said that I should ban my neighbor from being around my husband and tell him not to talk to her again. I told her that I wanted a husband who doesn't want to cheat. There are 4 billion women out there and I can't stop him from seeing all of them. He's the only one who can decide if his marriage is worth it. My mom called me deranged and she is very upset with me. I don't know what to do. I have made my opinion clear to my husband that I didn't appreciate our neighbor hanging around with him and I even started to cook more at home. Other than that I don't plan on having a contest with women to win my husband. I always believe if they can take him, they can keep him. It may sound so cold. I don't feel that at all. My heart is full of love for him and I can't even imagine myself cheating on him even if I was in a room full of handsome men, I just want the same in return. He hasn't done anything yet but he has texted with her a few times. Nothing flirty but they have texted. I hate it but I don't know. My mom said I'm enabling this just to see if he cheats and then discard him but all I wish is that he chooses me. Without him knowing that I'm watching and without me asking him to choose me, comments, it is not your responsibility to stop an affair. Your husband should choose you. But, I do believe in setting boundaries. Your husband may not mind your neighbor texting or coming over, but that clearly is inappropriate and if you feel uncomfortable with it say something. If your husband respects you, he'll understand. If the shoe were on the other foot, I'm sure you'd want your husband to be honest and you'd respect it, OP responds, yes I agree and I already told him I didn't appreciate her being in my home when I'm not there. I have always been clear about my boundaries but how can I guarantee that they don't meet outside or when I'm not around? I know this will sound very cold, but I don't want to scare him to being more careful and cunning and better at hiding? Isn't it better for him to think me totally oblivious? I have never heard a person not cheating because they're supervised. They just get better at hiding it. Am I wrong here, comments, you're not wrong at all. Keep your eyes open and listen to your gut. You really can't know for sure, that whole trust thing is so tricky, but I strongly believe in letting people show you who they are. Don't ignore any red flags and keep the communication open with your husband. Update 1, I want to start with some explanations. My account is new because I'm not a Reddit user. I know of it through relationship posts on Instagram and YouTube and when I had a talk with my mom, I immediately thought of Reddit to get perspective. I must say I'm very surprised at the support I got here. I thought I was way wrong after my mom's reaction. Some girls here suggested that I don't tell my husband next time I left work early. Well I didn't want to wait for that to happen so I accidentally on purpose left my gym bag at home, asked my manager if I could have a couple of hours break around lunch and sure enough, my neighbor was in my kitchen eating lunch with my husband. My husband looked nervous and guilty and said yeah we're having lunch here. They had the leftovers from yesterday's dinner and they've ordered a pizza because we didn't have enough leftovers for two. So she didn't even make him lunch this time. I just said that I was there to bring my gym bag and left. Now I'm sitting in my car shaking. My stomach and heart are aching. He has called three times but I just couldn't answer. He texted me this, my love, it sounds better in my language, I know you don't like it when she's here but you have nothing to worry about. I love you. Now I'm trying to calm my nerves before driving back to work. He knows that I don't like it when she's there and yet the few times I've left work early, she's been there, which means she's probably always there when he's working from home. Which means even if he knows I hate it, he still does it. We have been married for six months. I know the first year is always hard but I don't know. We are in out thirties and we don't have children yet. We only own our apartment together. Maybe this wasn't meant to be. Maybe it's better to call it a day now before there's more to lose. My mom will probably call me deranged again if I tell her how I'm feeling. But I'm very very turned off by this. She can keep him. 
Edit. I'm sorry for editing all the time but I'm at work now and won't be able to respond. I just got this text from my husband, I haven't answered his calls or texts. I need to calm down before talking to him, baby, you were right about X, neighbor's name. I told her that she shouldn't be coming over anymore because my wife doesn't like it and she said that she had feelings for me. You were right. I love you and I don't want to lose you, I didn't answer him because what can I say to this? I need to go back to work now I can't ruin my marriage and my work on the same day, edit again, hi. Now I'm at my sister's and I could just cry. I love him but I can't do this. He has been calling and sending messages and screenshots all afternoon. I have just answered him this, I love you but I can't do this. I don't trust you with my heart anymore. I don't think we're compatible because our definition of love, respect boundaries and friendship is obviously very different. We probably need to call it a day before we're even more entangled and it gets more complicated. I need space to think. Please respect that and I will talk to you when I'm ready to discuss our future. He just called three times more than texted, please don't do this to us. I love you. You're the love of my life. Please don't throw everything away in a moment of anger. Be angry with me but come home and be angry. Take it out on me. Fight me. Hit me. If you only knew how much I love you and how nobody else in this world matter to me. Come home, update 2, yesterday he showed up at my sister's. Puppy eyed and all, with takeouts from my favorite restaurant, flowers chocolate and ice cream, why do they always think food solves everything? He started apologizing and saying that he loved me and that he would never hurt me. I asked him to start being honest with me, if he had feelings for her and if they've done something. He swore nothing happened and that he doesn't have feelings towards her. I told him that he wasn't honest because why would he let her in my home, knowing how much it would hurt me, and cost him, if he had no feelings for her, why risk your marriage? He couldn't answer that more that that he didn't think it was bad since he was secure in his feelings and in our marriage. He then admitted that he liked the attention. So you knew before she admitted it that she liked you? Yes. He gave me his phone and all his texts and told me to see how he never once flirted or made any advances. I don't know, I was very sad reading and hearing all this. I told him that they disrespected me. Her last text to him is that she loved him and she would make him happier than I ever could. There was also messages with mean things about me to him and instead of confronting her he ignored her or laughed it off. When I asked him about it he apologized and said she was obviously jealous so I didn't want to engage. I told him that I wanted separation because I didn't trust him anymore. He begged me not. Then he said that I should at least come back to my home and he would live with his parents. He also asked if I could promise him not to start divorce yet and just be separated for a while and go to couples counseling. He said that he messed up very badly and wants me to give him time to make it right again and not just divorce him yet. So I moved back home this morning and he was here. We had breakfast and he left for his parents. I didn't want him to kiss me. He will be coming home when he needs to work in the office and probably if we start therapy. On these days I can be at my sister's. She was more than happy to help. Now I don't want to see him for a while. I hate my kitchen now, I'm sitting in my kitchen writing this, which is sad because we put so much effort into making it exactly what we wanted.